Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we have a watch unboxing. Hartley reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in presenting one of their watches on the channel, and obviously I agreed. I have a discount code, which is also an affiliate link, so I'll earn commissions from the use of that code. It's Wrong Time Watch 15 for 15% off. I'll put that information in the description uh, as well. All right, so it looks like we get a uh, international warranty card here. Have a owner's handbook, so it's a Hartley Legacy. There's kind of a preview of what the watch looks like. See some of the specs here, 50 meter water resistant, flat sapphire crystal, which is nice. A Miyota 21 joule automatic skeletonized movement, 316 L stainless steel, so. All right, we'll set that off to the side. Really don't look at the watch manuals all that often. Looks like some kind of a, maybe a pad to set your watch down on. Oh, pretty nice presentation here, nice uh, cardboard outer box. And then we look, look to have a uh, plastic box here. It's a nice heavy duty looking box. This almost feels like a microfiber cloth. I don't think it is. All right, let me set that off to the side. And then there's a push button here to open the case. So nice presentation so far. Here's a look at the watch. So uh, they did size the watch for me. Set those links off to the side. And we'll get the watch out of here. And then I'll zoom in a bit and get the uh, case out of the way here. So this is, uh, okay, some of these cases have like an inner compartment here. I don't think this one does. just kind of feels like it. Well, let's check it out. No, I don't think that's supposed to come out. So let's get this out of here and then get it off to the side. Must be the uh, hinge mechanism there. Anyway, I'll set this off to the side. Uh, they also did provide me with another strap just to share here in the presentation. Um, so you can purchase, they have leather, I think silicone and then mesh. I opted for the mesh. So let's get this open as well since we're here. Put the tape back on there. Yeah, so it looks like a nice, uh, fairly nice mesh strap. It is signed here, Hartley. So they have their logo on there. I'll, uh, well, let's just unwrap this. So it has a quick release pin here, which I always appreciate. Nope. That didn't quite work out. There we go. So let me know what you think of mesh straps. I, I like them. I just, I don't wear them all that much. I don't know why, but uh, I do like the way they look. And this feels nice. Got some uh, nice art, uh, articulation. I don't know if articulation is the right word, but uh, it's pretty flexible there. Uh, so like I said, they did size it for my wrist as a courtesy to me. So have plastic on the front and then plastic on the back. Uh, these are quick release pins as well. So with this bracelet, the, it's not filled in. There's not a custom end link there, I guess I'll say. It's just a straight across flat end link. So the outer portions are polished, inner portion is brushed. Kind of interesting case shape here. Um, all right, let's get this stuff off to the side. A lot of protective covering here. And let's see. So it is a screw down crown. So we'll unscrew the crown. Now oh, it's cool. You can see the rotor um, through the front there. I can see the rotor kind of shaking around back there. So it's a skeletonized movement, but it's not fully skeletonized. You still have the indices on the outside, so you can still see the time fairly well. 
some skeletonized watches with just the indices. It's a little bit harder to tell the time with. So let's see if this is hand winding. Looks like it is. Second hand started to move. Actually, if I let's remove one of these. No, let's remove them both. Yep, so you see that, that big gear there moving as I wind the crown, so definitely hand winding. That guy's moving there too. So I'm not sure what Miyota movement, movement this is. I would guess it's the 8000 series. Just kind of based on how it looks. I don't know for sure. Let's just see on here what it is. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Oh, so they have a custom rotor as well. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I like looking at the uh, mechanical movement, uh, especially hand winding, but this rotor is somewhat skeletonized too, so you get a better look at what's going on in there. Uh, we guess that it's only winding in one direction, seeing how it spins around pretty easily there. Pull the crown out all the way, so the second hand is stopped, so it's hacking as well. So let me know what you think of this watch. I do like that it has a flat sapphire crystal. A little bit different looking uh, from any other watch in my collection. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the, uh, the Patek Philippe Nautilus. Uh, not that I've ever seen one in person, but uh, just kind of the case shape a little bit. Oops. Yeah, so it is an actual no date movement, so that's nice. You just have the two positions here. First position for hand winding, and then second one for time setting. Let's screw that back down, and we'll get the bracelet back. Oops, okay, so the quick release spring bars are not captive in here, so keep that in mind. I need to think about which way to put this back on. 50-50 chance, and I'm sure that I will mess it up. So let's see here. That part of the class. Now let's just put it on. If it's not upside down, I guess I'll put it on upside down. Alright, that's a little annoying. It'd be nice if these were captive, but it's a little more costly to manufacture them that way. Got that one in there. I don't really see if I did this the right way. Odds are I probably did it the wrong way, but that's okay. Talking about the orientation of the clasp. Yep, I did it upside down. Figures. All right, not a big deal. So, zoom out a little bit. A high polish on that clasp there, so the clasp matches the exterior, um, the outer bracelet. So you do have a stamped safety clasp. This portion is milled. This is stamped, three micro adjusts. So quite the polishing on this watch here. All right, let me zoom out a bit, and uh, we'll close out the video here. Took a little longer than I was anticipating. So let me know what you think about this watch in the comment section. Bracelet's a little kinked up somehow. Oh, you know what? I gotta put it on the mesh strap. So I'll pause it and get it on this uh, mesh strap. Okay, so I did get the bracelet unkinked, just took a little bit of uh, effort. But anyway, um, looks to be spring bars, I'm sorry, split pins holding the links together. So it shouldn't be a big deal to resize that if needed. Um, but I did take the liberty of putting it on the mesh strap. I think I like the look and feel of the mesh strap more than the strap that it came on, uh, bracelet. 
So for this style of watch, I think the mesh looks good and it feels good on the mesh. All right, that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.